I've been married to my husband, John, for 29 years, and we have three beautiful children. And to me, marriage is not just about marrying anybody. It's a woman marrying a man and learning to be selfless and as a result of that marriage to have children, which I don't believe can happen with God's blessing between any other combination. And I support Anne, and I just can't believe we're having this conversation that we have to argue something that should just be natural. You know, it's, it's the sacredness of this union that creates children, and I just want that to continue. And God have mercy on us and bless us. Thank you. I was raised by a wonderful, caring babysitter who is a lesbian. She has a heart as big as gold and also is a daycare provider for my own children. I have many family and friends whom I respect and love and who are gay. I give this information about myself only because it seems that anyone who is not for same-sex marriage is labeled either prejudiced or intolerant, none of which I am. Setting aside theology and moral issues, I believe in democracy and in the Constitution. Democracy is how and why we are all here today, and that is where my issues with all this lie. I have great respect for this board, and I hope I don't offend. I have become saddened and discouraged about how all of this has come about, by the strike of a gavel instead of the seal of a ballot. I was under the assumption that in this democratic society only the legislative branch of government could write laws, not the judicial branch. I am sure, supervisors, that you know how this works, but for those listening who may not, let me summarize. The reason that only the legislative branch has this authority is because they are selected by the people as our representatives. They come from every county and speak on our behalf. This is why we vote. Based on our majority of our views, they come together and write law. This is a government by the people for the people. Now the judicial branch, which is the court, however, does not have this authority according to the Constitution. The judicial branch cannot write law because it would not be just and fair for a handful of individuals to decide the fate for the majority. We have our representatives for that, and that is also why we have this board. The Supreme Court is attempting to create law and trump the voters with their recent judgment. California voters overwhelmingly decided against same-sex marriage, and it needs to be the people of California who change that through the democratic process. Upon hearing the recent ruling to overturn Proposition 22, I was floored. I wanted to send my recent ballot to the Supreme Court and ask them to fill it in for me, since my voice didn't matter, it seems. Many elected officials right now are forgetting who they swore to serve, and that's us, not the courts and the justices. And Barnett is doing exactly what she swore, to uphold the Constitution and enforce California statutes. Before any official questions her integrity, I would ask those individuals to take a look within themselves and not to sway from their own oaths when the storm begins to rise around them. The voters by legal election express their views on marriage and California statute still states that marriage is between one man and one woman. We have done our part to reinforce the Constitution and I now ask that in the spirit of democracy and as our elected supervisors, that you would enact an ordinance reinforcing marriage as recognized in California Code 300A, at least until the November election, but not like this, not by silencing the people and overriding the voters. Please restore my hope in the system and show us democracy in action. Thank okay, you. Thank you. And I've been a resident here for about 23 years. I've been married to a woman for 40. I'd like to express my support for marriage between a man and a woman. I've been frustrated many, many times over the years when I've gone to the polls and voted for a proposition and it's been passed and then it's been overturned. That's the major reason I came here today. Just over and over, these things happen. And I really want to encourage you to protect what the voters have done and not to let it be overturned by a small group represent the people, I urge you to support the ordinance for marriage between a man and a woman.